What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content. And today we're here to discuss more of Samsung Galaxy's AI with a tutorial on how to improve your privacy. And this is done by enabling the feature process data only on device. So that being said, I have a screen recording go in here and I'll adjust the video to reflect that. And we're going to get started here. And we're going to swipe down from the top of the display. Now this is a really nice feature. Again, if you want to improve or maximize your privacy on device, you don't want things going outside of your device. So we're going to swipe down until we see that gear icon in the top right hand corner and that's the settings and we're going to tap on that. So here we are in the settings. Now this may look a little different depending on the device you're using. Now I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. So my settings, we have a left page and a right page, but if you're using something like an S24 series, you may just see one page. Now I'm going to start with the left page only and we're going to scroll down until we see advanced features and tap on that option. And you can see on the Z Fold series, it's going to refresh the page on the right side and it's going to show advanced features. So we're going to look for advanced intelligence. This is the first option at the top and we're going to tap on that. And that's going to refresh the page on the right side again. So we're going to scroll all the way down until we see process data only on device. You'll see that we have a slider here and we can enable this feature by tapping on the slider. And depending on how you have your user interface set up, this slider will turn a specific color. Now mine's set up so that the slider turns red, but yours may look blue or maybe another color. And I just wanna review what this feature actually does. So again, the focus here is securing our data, increasing our privacy. So it says here for added privacy, process data for advanced intelligence features on your device instead of online. Again, this means that ideally everything's staying on your device if you're looking to maximize your security. But there is a con here. It says in the next sentence, online processing of data provides the best results and is required for some advanced intelligence features. So what this means is if you do enable this feature, you may see a decline in performance or some features just may be broken altogether. But I wanted to cover this video since we're seeing more AI features in all of our devices and you may be concerned about privacy and you may want to enable this feature. As for myself, I'm not too concerned at the moment. Well, now that I think about it, I kind of am thinking about it. I'm going to leave it off for now, but it is there if you need it. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out.